little different of a plan today. We are heading to Pompano Beach to see my cousin, Stephen, who I haven't seen in quite a few years. Um, not necessarily a restaurant review, but we're going to check out some airports on the way down. Yeah, actually, uh, I don't think I told you this. Um, somebody wanted to... They were asking about um, why it is that we bought this plane and you know, what our decisions were about buying the plane and factors that weighed in on that. So I thought we would, I thought we could probably talk about that for them. Sounds like a plan. All right. So uh, let's let's get our taxi clearance and head to Pompano. Kissimmee Ground, Cherokee, November 9032, Whiskey with Information India at Belmar requesting a southeast departure. Oh, that's fine. Very good. Very good. Uh, I didn't say requesting taxi, but that's okay. See Kissimmee Ground, runway 6, taxi via Foxtrot Bravo. Runway 6 via Foxtrot Bravo. Copy, runway 6 via Foxtrot Bravo, November 9032, Whiskey. Clear right? Clear right. Kissimmee Tower, November 9032, Whiskey holding short on runway 6, ready for takeoff. Departure. Happy 9032, Whiskey, Kissimmee Tower, runway 6, clear for takeoff, make a right turn out. Right turn out approved, runway 6, clear for takeoff. Copy, right turn out, runway 6, approved for takeoff. November 9032 Whiskey. Yes. Bye, good. Land gooder. Did I do okay? You did good. All right. I love you. I love you too. All right. And away Third we go. Right. right. Third to the left. Heels are on the ground. You ready to do this? Let's do it. All right. Let's do it. And power to 1800. Gauges are in the green. Airspeed's alive, and let's roll on the power. There's 60, there's 65, let's fly. Perfect. I like it. Gauge is still on the green. There's 500 feet. Let's go ahead and do a right turn out. Go to the right and clear to the left. So do I actually get to tell the story of how you even started flying? Uh, you, can, you can start with that. You can always edit it if I don't like it, right? So Joe was insistent on three things. We wanted a roof over our back porch. He wanted a new truck and wanted to fly. So the new truck came from um, having a 2012 Kia that is now on its sixth engine. That's six engines, um, all replaced by Kia due to recalls and various malfunctions. So then. Um, Finally, gave him the, what do you want talk. <laughs> uh, that's, that's a good way to put it. 
So, do you want to fly? We, we took the roof over out of the equation, but do you want to fly or do you want a new truck? And the condition of it was, if you choose flying, you are going to drive the Kia until the doors fall off. So, Joe chose flying, and the Kia is um, held together, the bumper is held together by black duct tape and zip ties, thanks to our neighbor's reconstruction abilities, and it has no air conditioning. It is officially a hoopty. <laughs> it, it does have air conditioning, it just works when it wants to. So, that's how Joe started flying. Um, little did I know that an airplane was going to follow in that conversation. As far as the details of the plane, that's on Joe. But, um, well, you know, what I was looking for um, in all of this was that uh, we would be able to Fly, enjoy this. Nine, sir, go up, heading two, seven, zero, enjoy this time with uh, friends and family. That we would have something capable of of taking that many passengers. We were. I was actually looking at a Cherokee six six seater. I even looked at Cessnas, the two hundred six and the two tens. So I had an idea of what I wanted, and then I spoke with some. Of previous owners of those, and they loved the plane. However, they never flew with more than two, sometimes three people. Um, it really became a luggage hauler for them. And so, given the the size of the motor and the fuel burn on that, I kind of kind of started looking for something on the four seater. So I started speaking with uh, people that had the six cylinder four seaters, and which is ultimately what we ended up with, the Cherokee 235. Um, and our useful load, uh, prior when I first bought it, was 1465, and my useful load now is 1480, since we removed the vacuum okay. system and all that, and put the G5s in here, and, zero nine zero one um, two got rid of all that extra wiring uh, that was laying around doing nothing. If you ever saw Armageddon, when they redid our dash, it was kind of like that scene with Bruce Willis where he's like, where did this come from? And he starts tossing things out of the, uh, I guess it was yeah. the spaceship. Yeah. And he's like, what is this, a $400 ice cream scoop? And, you know, so that actually happened um, behind our dash, too. There was some extra wiring and yep. parts. So they, yeah, they, they kind of got rid of <laughs> Kind of got rid of all the, uh, the fluff and the extra stuff, so my weight and balance kind of, um, my useful load went up considerably 20 pounds more. Uh, one of the one of the things that I was uh, skeptical about with this um, was the fuel burn on this on this aircraft, and it would actually be a, uh, a big concern if if you didn't need the, the space and uh, the carrying capacity. Right uh, a couple weeks ago, we yeah. actually, we took our dog and we flew yeah. to Arcadia. We went camping. So I, I needed yeah, that so extra useful load. Let me. Let me switch this channel real quick. So I needed that extra useful load um, in order to be able to, uh, to take my dog and all the camping stuff and do that. And it's really, I gotta tell you, the pros versus the cons on this, are, you know, they outweigh it. I, I love this plane. Um, right now, I'm uh, cruising. I'm at 133 miles an hour, and I am sipping at 13 gallons an hour, uh, as you can see, 12.8. So right about there, um, I've, got it, I've got it dialed down. Now, when I was taking off, obviously, full throttle, full mixture, um, it was actually burning... 19 gallons an hour, and so that that was uh, that could be a concern for some people that they use that extra fuel that long. However, for me, it was not that uh, not that bad uh, for the takeoff period. I was looking something, you know, training in the Cherokee 180, and you went fine with me in that one. 
um, we had to we had to lose some fuel in order to take uh, three people on the plane. We had to make sure that you know our weight and balance was correct on that. And so, I think we lost twenty pounds. <laughs> oh, I know, right? So, you, you know the. The amount of fuel burn was probably one of the bigger concerns for me. But if I'm able to sip up, um, you know, 13 gallons an hour, I'm okay with it. I know that, I know the Cherokee 180s can do uh, nine gallons an hour uh, sipping fuel. So, you know, but I also have a bigger motor. I fly faster and I carry more weight. So for me, that was, uh, it was a good trade-off. That being said, the only, only other person that we've actually had, not even other person, uh, the only time we had three living things in this car or in this plane was with Bella. We've never had. Rachel went with us. Um, oh, when the radios broke. Yeah, yeah when yeah, the radios went down. Yeah. Right before we got the dash repaired, uh, Rachel went down there with us. So, um, get my heading correct back on this real quick. So you know there were some there were some predisposing factors that that you know weighed in on the purchase of our plane. Right now, I'm happy with our decision. Um, you know, here we are, we're heading down to Pompano, which is a three-hour drive for us, and we're going to make it in uh, a total trip was an hour and uh, hour and eleven minutes. I think you know we're ten minutes into this now, so we got an hour flight. Um, and at 12 gallons an hour, and I, of course I have 84 gallon tanks, so I'll have plenty of fuel to get down there and uh, to be able to get back without having to fuel up. I called Pompano prior to getting down there, and they did uh, they did tell us that there was a a ramp fee of $24 to park whether you're there for an hour or whether you're there for you know all, all day it's 24 bucks and then if it's overnight they add an additional ten dollars on there but we're only going down for a few hours to visit family and, and grab something to eat i thought we were actually going to do a restaurant review while we were down here um but I we think, don't know where we're eating yeah, and we, it's not going to be on property we know that uh but number one one nine or julia delta reset train rule well, those are my decisions for buying this plane and some of the predisposing factors. I'm going to uh, I'm going to stick with that though. Redoing the dash was a little bit more expensive than we had anticipated, but um, definitely has added to the aesthetics of it. Oh yeah, absolutely. And um, the simplicity of flying now is, is uh, has been greatly increased. You know, my engine monitor, adding that, being able to determine my cylinder temperatures and my exhaust gas temperatures. The G5s with, um, you know, an all-in-one. The G5 down here, the, my uh, heading indicator is actually tied into my to my autopilot so you know there was a lot of things that we upgraded on here every gauge that we have on here is uh, has been replaced i do i do like the old school looks um with the with the analog gauges so i didn't want to completely get rid of that i might at some point but i'm pretty happy with uh with what we have right now the next thing i think i'm going to do is the gps um, i think that's my next thing to do GPS and interior. So if anybody watches this video <laughs> and has... I'll eat on the GPS. Father's Day is coming. Ah. Okay. Throw that little plug in there. Appreciate that. And we have the icy breeze, which is definitely... Is it on? Yeah, it's on and... Right. Keeping cool. Yeah, I can feel that. That's... Actually, really nice. Because we don't have our four-legged passenger, uh, we did bring the cover just so we could cover up the plane and hopefully keep it a little bit cooler when uh, we're off to launch today. So we have the two propped up in between us, and it's uh, working hard back there.
Cherokee 32 Whiskey Wind 07015, gust 24, enter left base, runway 6, clear the line. Hey, copy, uh, enter left base for runway 6 and clear to land. 9032 Whiskey. 80, watch your 517. Here's his talking. Okay. Alright, let's go 1700. The first notch of flaps. 190, we'll go 6 result 2 4. see anything except for 95. All right, there's a second notch. We gotta do some airspeed though. Tower, this is Dakota A1597. We are roughly 14 miles to the south, uh, to the northwest, southwest. Inbound for a full stop landing, I have Yankee. Dakota 1597 Pomp, Delta Tower, Roger, Report 5 Northwest. Report 5 Northwest, uh, A1597. Total A2200, American, 935. Wind is horrible right now. 26 8 minutes, 6 times. Government 3 to Whiskey, contact ground from Rider Delta. Right on Delta and contact ground, 903 to Whiskey. You can open. All right, welcome to Pompano. Man, talk about a crosswind landing. That sock is all the way out, look at that. Yeah, it Good is. Good grief. <laughs> 